Yeah. There you go. You know, and for many young people, which is this, this series is really dedicated to you, a lot of you have not developed any bad credit yet. And as adults, we know that having a poor credit rating could be very detrimental to the amounts that you're paying extra for things, the uh, annual percentage rate that you'll get for credit cards, your credit worthiness, your employability even based upon the credit. Now, if you have messed your credit up, can is I share about that you really can, quick. you sure can. When I was, when I graduated from college, I had about 12 credit cards, all of them bad, except for maybe three survive this chaos. Number one, I was irresponsible. I was engaged. My fiance was supposed to be taking care of my bills. He wasn't. So that's another thing. Don't ever let anyone be responsible for your credit because uh, it can get torn up. But I got laid off from my job, my first job that I had straight out of college. Mm -hmm. And one of my very best friends was like, oh my God, I can totally get you on at this insurance company I'm working at. They loved me. The interview, everyone loved me, but they said, your credit, we can't hire you. Mm. If you're going to be managing our money and giving out money, we can't have you with this type of credit rating. So no, I didn't get the job. Just like that, all because of what I did while I was in college, and I did a lot of damage. Nowadays, though, I will say this, though, most people can't get a credit card until they're 21 if they're in college. And if you do get a credit card, you usually need a co-signer. And most mom and dads that are financial savvy are not going to let you co-sign on their credit card. So there you go. Mm -hmm. That's so true. That's it. And I, like a personal story that I have as well, like I was 19. I had, had a, I had like about 10 credit cards like yourself. I would get cash advances from one credit card to pay another. I was making like a student wage with two jobs. I was making like 285 an hour. Oh, I had a car that I was still paying on that had died and I didn't have the money to fix. So I wasn't driving that anymore. I was, I had no safety net. I had no family to fall back on. Mm -hmm. I ended up filing a bankruptcy at wow. the age of 19. I had to take some of my student loan money to pay for the bankruptcy. Wow. And it took 10 years before my credit report was clean. It was a struggle. I had to struggle for 10 years. I knew what was ahead of me. So luckily for me, I stayed in school and I went and got a graduate degree. <laughs> but getting, I had to convince the apartment owners that I was worthy of it. I had to convince them uh, that when I did this bankruptcy, it was because I was young and I, I, I you know, it, it, I was foolish. I made bad decisions, and there's there's nothing in the world that I I feel that I regret more than doing that. But I learned from it, and and I like to t share people. It's, it was embarrassing. It's embarrassing when you have. Uh, I, I mean, even though I was only 19, I was embarrassed because when you hear of bankruptcy, you think of people that are rich and living beyond their means and they can't afford it. Not someone who's making 285 an hour, who's like charging things on the credit card to try to stay afloat. Mm -hmm. um, so you definitely want to to think before you take out those credit card applications.